on it. Big game this weekend. Big question mark over Marcus Rashford. Is he going to yeah. be fit to play? I can't tell you now. Uh, we'll, uh, as I said with Harry a few uh, few weeks ago, of course we're going to give him the the absolute amount of time uh, to to find out. Uh, going to do some more checks and treatment with him today. Yesterday, of course, was just a recovery day anyway and some treatment for him. But I've, I've not seen him this morning, but uh, I'm not going to hold my breath. Uh, I would probably think that he wouldn't be ready. But that's... Let's see. It's uh, still uh, 48 hours, more than that. So let's see. Obviously, no one's beaten Liverpool in the Premier League so far this season. What gives you the belief that you can go to Anfield and do that? We've... Uh, we need... A very, very good performance to go there and uh, and win. But we've proven that in the last... Well, we beat City last month. We've had the PSG game. We need to get to the level of those performances, definitely, when you go away against the team that's uh, top of the league. And the last two performances we've had uh, against Liverpool as well, to be fair. We've uh, played them at Old Trafford twice. We've drawn twice and been closest to winning both those games. So we've got some games to look back at and that will give us some belief and loads of belief that we, on a, on a game, if we perform to our best, we've got a chance to win. Can you tell us anything about Bruno Fernandes, how that stands and whether you're confident to bring him in? I can't uh, tell you about any uh, players that play for other teams, no. Uh, we're... Uh, Focusing on this game at the moment, I'm, that's my only concern. So, can you tell us about your captain? He's on his way to Italy for a medical. Um, how, how sad are you that's not worked out in terms of keeping him because you wanted to? And, uh, well, to be fair, it's. I think it was uh, for Ashley. You know, he's 35 in the summer, and if he gets a two-year contract somewhere, uh, I think it's up to him to to take that. We we weren't ready to offer that. Uh, he's been a good servant for the club, he's been captain, he's won trophies, league, cups. Uh, but we got players coming through, so it was time now then when Ashley's head and mindset was on, yeah, I want to try this, so why not do it now? Who was your new captain? Harry has been wearing the captain's arm man and he will keep wearing it. He's come in and been uh, a leader in the group. He's been uh, very, very, uh, I've been not surprised, but I've been impressed by his leadership skills. So Harry will keep on wearing the, the armband. I don't recall any, any player, including Roy or Eric or anybody, getting the captaincy quite so quickly. <clears throat> He's come in and everything about him tells me he's a leader and uh, he's part of a group that we've had that have been leading this young young group. Ashley has been, of course. Uh, Marcus is a young lad, but also David, Harry. So, um, Harry will keep on wearing the armband now. He's uh, one of our players, he's our captain, uh, there's lots of speculations and we've just got to handle that. that. We're getting used to that in this club and Ashley's been uh, very professional and focused so I uh, don't think that's going to change. No, Ashley's been uh, very, very good for this club and he's been a very good captain this season. So uh, let's see uh, where we are in, uh, in June uh, and, well, we can see where we are in uh, February as well.
Mason Green Mason Green Mason Green Mason Green